guys, what's going on? Look who it is. It's your boy, Worst Effing Gamer. I'm back again with another Soul Hunters episode, guys. Today, we have a brand new skin to unlock and to check out what, you know, it's gonna do to your boy Aqua, man. So, let's see. I just purchased it right now. So, let's go ahead. Claim. There she is, the genie skin. Will this change Aqua? Will it make him usable at all? We'll find out right now, guys. So, let's go ahead. Let's use this. And let's check out this transformation. Holy hell! That wasn't that impressive at all. <laughs> it's exactly what I thought was going to happen. He got a turban on his head now. That looks pretty sweet though, actually. So, will this make him into some kind of a crazy? Oh, that's sick. Now we are talking. Uh, genie in a bottle? I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Wow, Aqua the Genie. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, guys. That kind of looks like a genie in a bottle. Just pops out of the bottle and grants you one wish. Yo, imagine this is his skill. All right, if that's his skill, that would be freaking sweet, guys. So let's take a look. All right, first of all, I love the skin. Mwah, I freaking love that skin. Way to go, Lilith. Great job on the skin. That looks phenomenal. Way better than before. My Aqua is uh, orange plus one. So... I could get him to orange plus two, depending on what this ability is going to be, guys. So let's take a look first. First of all... Okay, Genie Shield. Uh, when Aqua's uh, Genie Skin is equipped, the first time he takes a normal uh, fatal amount of damage, the damage will be neutralized, and he will be immune to physical damage for three seconds. Ha! Alright, so basically, this guy's got a kind of an extra life. Uh, the one attack that's going to kill him does not kill him. It's neutralized, which means it's zero. And then he's immune for three seconds after that. Yo, that actually could be pretty, pretty impressive, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually not bad at all. So, as you can see, I've already awakened him. So, if you are wondering what this guy looks like differently, this is him awakened, all right? Mm, let me see. Take off the skin. So, this is your boy Aqua awakened, right? And then this is him with the skin. Very nice. Very nice. So, I don't have anything equipped to him yet. And um, I really didn't want to, you know, equip anything to him unless I knew for sure how good the skin is going to be. So, let's go ahead. I think let's go ahead and take a look at a battle here, guys. Let's do... You know what? Let's do an arena battle. How about that? I'm going to go ahead and just do any type of battle. Let's do one right here. I'm gonna switch up Aqua for... Alright, let's just go take out Rayman and let's put Aqua in there. Let's see. Now, no items at all. Let's see how long this guy can survive. Uh, he should survive at least for a good amount because of his new skin. So let's see what happens. Will he be able to do some damage? He's got some really cool abil abilities, guys. Abil 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 abilities. Uh, he's got his clone ability one. His ultimate... Uh, reduces physical, I think it's physical armor to everybody, AoE damage, so that's two, that's pretty good. There it is, that's the clone there of Aqua, but he got ransacked, destroyed really quickly there, so that's not good. Can we do this with this Aquaman? Hey, Octo there jumping around is gonna do a lot of damage. Alright, let's check it out now, because he's about to die, let's see if the skin is gonna protect him. What? It didn't even look like it protected him at all. Uh, that was freaking weird. Hmm. All right, that sucked. Damage received. Boy, he got a kill. How about that? All right, that's not good, boy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do this one more time. versus. Let's see if that was just bad luck. Let's go up to 16 here, but I have a bad feeling about this. Actually, this is a good time to check it out what his ability can do. So now Volko is going to jump in the back and Volko will prove to us if you know the ability is good or not. So let's see. Go ahead. Volko goes in the back. Fatal ability. All right, come on. Kill him. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. He survived that. I'm surprised actually. But he died. Am I missing it or what? Because I'm thinking he should survive the fatal hit and then become immune to physical attacks for like three seconds, as it says. 
but I don't see it. Hmm, very strange. Maybe it's happening, but it's just getting attacked so quickly and it's, he's so low at orange plus one that it doesn't really make a difference. That, that's a possibility, but still very weird. Hmm. Very weird, guys, very weird. All right. So another way we can test this out is let's go into the campaign here. Let's go a little bit earlier on. Like, let's go here. And I'm going to go with just Aqua. All right, let's just go with Aqua and let's test it out a little bit differently now. Maybe we can actually see this a little bit better here. I do love the animation though. I mean, he looks a lot better now. All right, so here's the clone. God damn it. This one kind of sucks because it keeps getting interrupted here. Yep, he's getting interrupted when he's about to make a clone, which kind of blows, but... All right, let's go with ultimate here. Look at this, guys. Boom! Physical armor down. It does a lot of damage, that ultimate. If he can get his ultimate off, I'm guessing if he's orange plus two, uh, it'll make a big difference, obviously. All right, let's finish this off. So if he's orange plus two, it'll make a huge difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that'll be it. But all in all, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, he's definitely usable now, that's for sure. I love using him in, uh, back in the day, I loved using him in the Crucible of Fire. Because once I get an ultimate off, guys, pretty much every wave, then it'll lower the physical attack. Well, this is when I was running, you know, a pretty heavy physical team until before Sylphie came. But even now with Volko running, Aqua and Volko and Crucible of Fire is actually a really good strategy. Let's go over this again, boom. Yeah, that does a lot of damage there. Okay. Hmm, he's not taking enough damage to see that skin. All right, maybe this is, this would be a good one right here. Let's see. All right. Oh, there it is, it worked. You just can't really see it guys. So I'll slow it down for you right now and check it out. So you can see that he becomes immune, but it's it's only to physical damage, right? So that's the catch right there. So let's go back and uh, take a look. So the catch is he's only immune to physical damage for three seconds. So if he gets hit by magic damage, it doesn't work. He'll still die. That's probably why he was dying in the arena. It's only physical damage, but uh, really cool. I would hope. You know, I would have hoped that it would be that he could be immune to both physical and magic. That would have been awesome. If he neutralizes a fatal hit so he doesn't die and then he's immune for three seconds, that uh, would automatically give him so much more survivability. He can finally maybe get an ultimate off and then, you know, work on his other abilities here. Like, you know, the water warrior is really good and rehydration is actually pretty good too because he gains or restores a lot of health and energy. So his abilities are not bad. But what he needed was more survivability, so he definitely got it with this. I just wish it was both magic and physical. But either way, not bad. Not bad at all. I love the artwork. I think it's awesome card. And um, he didn't grant me a wish. But either way, Aqua, you're still a cool bean, man. So hang in there, Aqua. You'll be good one day, I promise. I just don't see Aqua being in, you know, top arena teams right now. But you never know. You never know, guys. Anyways, I'm about to end it off here. I'll catch you guys in the next Soul Hunters video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.